Amit Shah's Shadan segment has seen a lot of new competition recently. And now Nissan is here with its facelifted 2014 Sunny Sedan. So the question is, what is this new midsizer all about? Well, I'm here at the beautiful Andaman Islands to find that out. The new Nissan Sunny is instantly recognizable from the front, where you will see a more aggressive design being used. At the front, you will find bigger Tiana-like headlamps, a bigger grille with chrome, and you will see even more chrome around the fog lamp area. All this has been done to make the Nissan Sunny a lot more premium looking than before and it seems they have succeeded here. Move to the side and you will see new alloy wheels but then that's about it. At the rear you will find new tail lamps and a new rear bumper which again makes the Sunny look a lot less bulky than before. Overall Nissan has done a pretty good job here and in fact you will see minor details being changed like a new black color and the changing of the position of the antenna. All this has been done to make the Sunny look a lot more mature and a classier option than before. Step inside and you will immediately notice a massive change here. Gone is the rather boring grey interior of the previous version, replaced by a much more luxurious looking colour scheme. When it comes to design changes, the new Sunny has a sporty 3-spoke steering wheel, a new centre console with a piano black finish a piano black cluster with silver accents and then you have leather seats and a leather wrapped gear knob. When it comes to features, you have a new 2 din audio system with a 5.1 inch screen, rear view camera, rear parking sensor, steering mounted audio controls, rear comfort fans, push button start, follow me home headlamps and well the list goes on. So you have to say Nissan has packed in a whole lot of features with this car. What we also like is that Nissan has given basic safety features as standard in all of the variants of the Nissan Sunny. However, one of the biggest strengths of the Sunny remains the massive amount of legroom. Do you have to say, under thigh support could have been a bit better. Engine wise, everything remains the same as before in the 2014 Nissan Sunny. It continues to have the petrol and the diesel engine with the petrol version having the CVT automatic gearbox also. At the moment, we are driving the diesel version and it is undoubtedly our pick of the range. It's torquey, it offers a lot of performance. There is also no turbo lag present, which means Nissan Sun is actually quite easy to drive, whether you are in the highway or in the city. Another important point is the fact that Nissan has managed to make the Sun even more economical than before, resulting in a mileage increase of 1 km per litre, which is certainly a really good thing. When it comes to ride and handling, the Nissan Sunny does quite well in the handling front. But you have to say, this is no sports sedan. The suspension is a bit soft. But the positive side is that the ride is really good, which is again quite an important factor. In the end, you have to say, Nissan has done a pretty good job here. Nissan has built on the strength of the sun, but also eliminating the key weaknesses of the previous model. The new Sunny looks much better inside out is more luxurious and feature rich than before. But there is no doubt that if you are chauffeur driven, the Nissan Sunny should be your choice. It is extremely comfortable and has got a good ride, which really matters a lot. Yes, it may not be sporty, but what you really want in a mid-size sedan is comfort, features, good looks and well, the Nissan Sunny has all that. <laughs>